Tonight, thousands of Hoosiers are home, unsure of how much longer they'll actually have a roof over their heads. Since the end of the eviction ban, we've seen this huge spike in the number of Hoosiers asking for help. And now the city of Indianapolis may have a new option soon. Tonight, local leaders approved a plan to ask for up to $100 million in housing assistance, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Tonight, we want to dig into what your rights are as a tenant and the resources at your disposal. But let's begin at 11 with what you need to know if your eviction case is already heading to court. It's been almost three weeks since the federal eviction moratorium ended, and small claims courts are currently flooded with cases. In Pike Township, Tuesday's docket shows 79 out of 109 cases are for evictions, and that's just in one day. We're suddenly starting to see that spike that people have been talking about being worried about in terms of eviction filings. Let's take a look at the numbers. It's estimated 93,000 Hoosier households are behind on rent and at risk of eviction. 83% haven't applied for assistance. And the number of people needing help continues to grow. Since early September, Indiana's eviction filings jumped 22% above the pre-pandemic average. Andrew Bradley with Prosperity Indiana says the resources are there. It's a matter of getting them to Hoosiers before it's too late. So that's why we want to make sure that all of the available resources are aligned together so that we can prevent as many of those evictions up front. Something Brandon Beeler with Indiana Legal Services is trying to do with a dramatic increase in clients. It has been the highest I've seen it in my time at ILS. He says right now federal funds are slow to reach tenants and some landlords aren't willing to wait. It's an unprecedented amount of federal money that's being dispersed through the states um, and the cities who are administering these programs, so um, it's just taking time to get the rent to the tenants. If that's the case, experts say attend your hearing and explain to the judge that you applied for assistance. And if you can, bring a copy of your application status. Right now, um, it's especially still a you know, time where equity should be considered. Today, the state of Indiana officially launched its new eviction task force, offering resources to both tenants and landlords and can help find solutions outside of eviction. They're also sending out postcards to people involved in eviction cases to share links with resources. Here in Marion County, the Tenant Advocate Program also offers legal help at small claims court for people late on their payments. They can even help negotiate rent or a voluntary move out. So far, at least six of the nine townships in the county have already signed up. And of course, there's financial and legal assistance available through the Tenant Information Hotline. That's the number posted on your screen. Now, beyond rental assistance, it's important to know your rights as a tenant. Everyone has the right to livable conditions. And in some cases, we've heard of people threatening to withhold rent until landlords make rental repairs. Now, in Indiana, that likely won't fly. If your landlord hasn't made repairs in a reasonable amount of time, you have to give them notice and a reasonable amount of time to fix it. You can also contact the local Board of Health to report problems. But unlike some other states, you cannot withhold rent in Indiana. Indiana, and you could face eviction if you do. Also, there is no guarantee that you would get a rent reduction if you go ahead and make the repairs yourself. Now, if a landlord doesn't fix issues in a reasonable amount of time, you can sue. But if you're in violation of your lease in any way, you still are at risk of eviction. The website housingforhoosiers.org has a full breakdown of Indiana tenants' rights, covering everything from privacy to security deposits and your responsibilities as a renter. We've got this link posted for you online right now. Just open up the WTHR app, and that wraps up tonight's big story.